इंट्रोडक्शन अजय लेट्स प्ले अ गेम विच गेम थिंक ऑफ एनी नंबर इन योर माइंड इन द एंड ऑफ दिस गेम आई विल टेल यू द नंबर हम्म ओके नाउ मल्टीप्लाई फोर विद दैट नंबर हम्म ओके एड फाइव विद द प्रोडक्ट ओके डन वॉट रिजल्ट डू यू गेट सिक्सटी फाइव नाउ आई विल टेल यू द नंबर विच यू थॉट इन द स्टार्टिंग इज इट फिफ्टीन वाओ हाउ डिड यू गेस दैट I did this by using simple equations. I also want to learn. Come, I will tell you about simple equations. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to form an equation, understand the concept of equation, convert the statement into an equation and equation into a statement. Solve the equation, understand transpose solve the problems related to simple equations firstly i will tell you how to set an equation let us take the same example i asked you to think of a number i did not know that number for me it could be anything 1 2 3 11 or 100 i denoted that unknown number by a letter say x you may use y or t or some other letter in place of x i asked you to multiply the number by 4 you get 4x then add 5 to the product which gave 4x plus 5 you get the result 65 which means 4x plus 5 is equal to 65 now to find the number i put different values of x If x is one, we get the answer as nine. If x is five, we get answer as twenty-five. Similarly, for x is equal to fifteen, we get the answer sixty-five. This is so simple. Can you explain what an equation is? There is always a sign of equality in an equation. The equality sign shows that the value of the expression to the left-hand side. is equal to the value of the expression to the right hand side when the expression on the left hand and on the right hand are interchanged the equation remains the same now i will tell you a statement you have to change it in equation are you ready yes the sum of 3 times x and 11 is 32 3 times x is 3x sum of 3x And eleven is three x plus eleven. The sum is thirty-two. So the equation is three x plus eleven is equal to thirty-two. We can also convert the equation in a statement. Can you give any example? Okay, look at this equation. X minus five is equal to nine. We can write it as taking away five from x gives nine, and we can write. 5p is equal to 20 as 5 times a number p is 20 correct how do we solve an equation a balanced equation is like a weighing balance with equal weights on both its pans if we add the same weight to both the pans the arm remains horizontal similarly if we remove the same weights from both the pans the arm remains horizontal same is the case with the equation if we add same number to both its sides the equation remains unchanged and if we subtract the same number from both its sides the equation remains unchanged if we multiply or divide the same number then also the equation remains unchanged let us take an equation x plus 3 is equal to 8 We shall subtract three from both sides of this equation. The new LHS is x plus three minus three, which is equal to x, and the new RHS is eight minus three is equal to five. Therefore, we get x as five. But why should we subtract three and not some other number? It is because subtracting three reduces the LHS to x. Are you sure that this answer is true? We can check this by placing the answer in place of x. If left hand side is equal to right hand side, 
then the answer is correct. We can see that here LHS left hand side is equal to RHS right hand side. Hence our answer is correct. Now take equation 5y is equal to 35. To get just y on LHS, we will divide both the sides by 5. So we get LHS which is equal to y and RHS is equal to 7. Hence we get the result y as 7. Ajay, can you solve this equation? Yes. To get p on the left hand side, we will add 5 to both the sides. We get 12p is equal to 30. Now divide both sides by 12. We get the answer p as 5 upon 2. Very good. Do you know that we can solve these problems by transposing also? What is transposing? Come, I'll explain you. Transposing means changing side. For example, in this example, we have changed the side of 5. And when we transpose any number, we change its sign. Plus becomes minus. Multiplication becomes division. And now by transposing 12, P becomes 30 divided by 12, which is equal to... Ajay, now you know to solve the equation. There is one problem for you. Ask. Raju's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age. Now find Raju's age if his father is 44 years old. We have to find Raju's age. Therefore, we will take it as x. Now, 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age is 3x plus 5, which is equal to 44. Now, we will solve this equation. Transposing 5 to right-hand side, we get 3x, which is equal to 39. Transposing 3 to right-hand side, we get x as 13. Hence, Raju's age is 13 years. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. An equation is a condition on a variable such that two expressions in the variable should have equal value. An equation remains the same if the LHS and the RHS are interchanged. In case of the balanced equation, if we add the same number to both the sides or subtract the same number from both the sides or multiply both sides by the same number or divide both sides by the same number, the balance remains undisturbed. That is, the value of the LHS remains equal to the value of the RHS. Transposing means moving to the other side. When you transpose a number from one side of the equation to the other side, you change its sign.